How are you God's children? Habarienu. What about this side? They are seated. I don't know whether there is a problem there. Can, can we say some anointing? Tell them be anointed. Be blessed. Let's take another corner. Let's take another This is blessing this side. Let's release blessing on this side. Be blessed this side. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God for uh, Reverend Jage. He is a wonderful man of God. Do you know that? Yes. Let's get seated. God bless so much. I know time is gone, but this time belongs to God. It's a moment with God. Uh, I suspect, you know, I'm a preacher. I can, I, I, and I can suggest. I can is it suggesting or perceiving the time we should finish? Uh, yes, we have only one hour if we are to preach a lot. When you have such ladies around, you know, as at a loud nine, they should be preparing to go home and do some works. And, and, be, and, be, and be good wives who report on time. <laughs> there are times when, when you report home, the, the people ask, Mom, why are you so late? We don't need to be so late. Now, I've come with my wife. This is the wife to Bishop Gatimo, Rosemary. God bless you. We have, been, uh, we have been promised that tomorrow we have a lot of time. This is one of our church elders. He is the leader of men fellowship in Kenya. Actually, he leads the men department in all our churches. We have 500 churches in Kenya. He is a chair, national chairperson and very active. Amen. We have brother Joseph. You know brother Joseph. You know this one? Brother Joseph, anywhere I step in, he just step there. And whatever, and whatever glory and blessings accompany the new move, he gets it. He handles a lot of projects in our church. You know we have the ten thousand seater project. He's the he's the he's the leader of that project, the manager, and he has come with a wife. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God bless you so much. God bless so much. Whenever I go in the world, you find him you find him there. And he can tell you the secret of getting closer to anointing. So that you not only relate with your pastor as just a pastor, but you relate in a deeper level of anointing. Wonderful. Another man here. This one is a is an evangelist and a leader of a home a home, home church in Kenya. You, you know his details to me. He's a very good man. Uh, yeah. And this one <laughs> is the wife to your pastor. <laughs> and back in Kenya, Kenya, she's a very active worker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And whenever I want somebody who can facilitate things, with the, the quality I need, I just assign her. Hallelujah. Amen. If today the president you say I'm visiting uh, your church, I'll just tell her now, president's coming. She knows the quality that Bishop wants. Uh, she's, she's good. Above all, a very hardworking and I'm a bearer of the pastor. God bless you so much. Uh, my son. This is my son. 
Samuel Dongo Gatimo. It was Samuel <laughs> Dongo Gatimo. Uh, and she works a lot and she had to get he had to get what, two, three days out of work to join mom and dad. She, and he's married. We had his wedding in Kenya. And they are blessed with one boy. And I believe they will continue with the boys and girls. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> yes. So, no, 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 the, the glory of the Rata Temple yeah. uh, will bring up more children through you. Since you're going to work your corner, yes. Ariko Ubgiza Gitor Yan Mozazana. In Old Testament, the Bible talks about few the earth. Uh, but in the New Testament, Bible does not talk about feeling the earth. Bible talks about making disciples. So when, whenever you give birth to a child, you are not feeling the earth. You are making a disciple. A disciple of Christ. from old. Testament to, uh, to New Testament. I, 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 I don't know how many women are pregnant in this place would have spoken that to your baby right there. I said, thank God for this disciple. Right in your disciple, disciple, disciple. In the New Testament, brethren, we will not give birth to that. Rero sinza ababyeyi batwite hano ngo tube twabasengera tubwire ngo uwo ni umwigishwa Yesu ufite utwite. Drug addicts. Yeah. We will not give birth to alcoholic people, rebellious children. I want to declare this. But the authority of the Holy Spirit, you are children. You are the product of your womb. Right now, as I speak, by the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lord command your son and your daughter to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. We are telling the devil, devil, we are not feeling the earth, we are producing disciples of our master, Jesus Christ. We are Christ. I want to speak to every, any mother here and any father. Raise your hands up now. Raise your hands up. I declare by the authority of heaven and the blood of Jesus I arrest your son and your daughter now from the hands of the devil from the systems of evil from every I remove your son and daughter from every slavery and by the word of God I subject them now to the feet of Jesus and by authority and the power of the name of Jesus I declare now they are disciples Faithful disciples. Very close disciples. Of Jesus Christ. By Christ. Satan. Satan. Leave our daughters. Leave our sons. Now. Right now. Get out Satan. In Jesus name. You know something? Relief your heart again. From today. From today, Uhere, you must give your son Umana, wow. and your daughter Numukoka, wow. a new name Izina, of the kingdom. Izina, <laughs> Can you get a piece of paper now? Let the name of your firstborn, secondborn, or maybe the only son or daughter, right, right. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Get a pen. Use this. Oh, are you married? Do you have a children? Do you have children? You're going to get. 
Write the names of the daughter and sons you expect to give birth to. And the kamazina you mukoga no muhungu. Is your husband alive? Do you live together? You are the one. Yes. When did when, when did you get married? Last year, August. Last year, August. Yes. Uh, yes. Don't worry. Let's preach <laughs> by faith. Right? No, no, no. I'm serious. Yes. Right. Na komeje. Wewe andika. I don't know how many children you expect, but don't worry. Since we, and, and be serious. Right. Don't worry how you presented. And this, this is a good man. You know, he has been here all through. I'm missing the other one. There's another one that looked like you. <laughs> yes. Now, Praise the name of Jesus. If you are not married, get a piece of paper. And tell God I'm going to prophesy to the children that you give me right now. Write the name. Just a name that you, you feel by the spirit of God you give to your son or daughter. Or they already have their names. And then after the name... Put a colon or a semicolon and write a kingdom name, kingdom title. Write a kingdom title for uh -huh. you. The kingdom title. You know, and I'm saying, can you write after the name of that son and daughter a name that speaks about his position in God? Or her position in God. If you want prophet, righteous, favor, established, covered, prosperous, a breakthrough son and daughter, a bearer of, of God's favor, write something. Do you have faith? Do you have faith? Do you have faith? Raise that paper up. If you are true. Even if you are not married, write names and, pro and, and prophetically tell God, I'm not looking forward for evil children, failures. Beggars. I'm looking forward to for children who you follow Christ and receive impartation. Listen, listen to that paper. My God, I destroy the powers of the air. I cast the prince of the powers of the air. Satan, I crush you under my feet. Satan, I destroy you now. Your works are now destroyed. You are a thief. You are a murderer. You are destroyed. I cast you in a race. Satan, Satan, you are no longer on throne. You are no longer a priest. You are defeated and crushed. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. I destroy every evil altar. I destroy every altar of God. I destroy every satanic altar. I destroy every ancestral spirit. I destroy every altar of witchcraft. And now by the word of God, this sons and daughters are at the feet of Jesus. At the right heart of God the Father. They are already quickened and raised with Christ and they are seated with Christ and from today they are servants of the Most High. The blood of Jesus has been assigned to accomplish that word in Jesus' name.
Can I say something? Right now there's a war going on. I can sense war going on. The demons are assigned to torture your daughter and your son. They are, they are, now, they are now reacting. And I command them to God. I command them to go to the bottom of speed. I bite and paralyze their powers and their weapons. In Jesus' name, you believe it, say amen. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Now, 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 now. The glory of the latter temple. I, 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 I would like to share a message in line with this. And today, our message is uh -huh, is about the calling of God. Experiencing the fullness of God's call. Or rather, experiencing the real breakthrough of God's calling. Because the glory of the Rata Temple. This is not talking about another church. It is the new life in Jesus' ministry. It is this temple that is glory of glory coming. And we are releasing it now. Hallelujah. Amen. And from today until the day of the Lord. You will experience what we call the glory of the latter temple. If I want to tell them something, the glory that God is releasing, it has three dimensions. One, the Lord is starting work in you. Just as it is stated in Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 the Bible says the God who started good work within us or in you he will continue with it continue with it until the day of the Lord pastor there I know you've been experiencing people who are not sure about their calling. They are not sure about their ministry. They are not clear about their destiny. I announce the glory of that temple. People in this church will be so clear about their calling. Amen. So hallelujah amen hallelujah amen hallelujah amen I, and today I'll, be, I'll pray for you there will be mighty prophets here mighty apostles Mighty workers, powerful people. Hano haraba hano ziva kome ye haraba abgiri zavo tumga ba kome ye abakozi ba kome ye. Do you know what I mean? Musician soba nora. Just come here, my sister. Come here. We na no shi chwa. You. Oh we. You. Oh we. You. Now we. You come. Now we. Come. Now we. Let me get some of that. Hey, come here. Now we na no. Come here. Now we na no. Ah. We don't have. We have. Hey, brother, brother. I'm not calling women, uh, men also included. You know, he's, he's not on a man in that group. Come here from Kenya, my brother. Do you know what God will do? This is a mighty group. God you put in this man a very sharp and clear calling. So much excellent that you not allow him to rest until 
until the glory is seen. He will do it in this lady. He will do it in her. She will be waking up in the morning with a fire in her heart of something that God wants to do through her. It will continue until the day of the Lord. The same in you. God you put in your mind. Great ideas for this church that you never allow you to rest until it is accomplished. God you do that my brother for you in a robby also in Rwanda. God you do that in you my sister. In the name of the Lord. God you raise fire in you. Fire in you. That you activate you. Not for anything else. But for the work of God. And you have breakthrough. That you are not stagger. A breakthrough with the throne of God. He will continue. God you do that through your life my sister. And God you use you in a mighty way. Hallelujah. There are members in your family. And where my brothers come from. That you come to Jesus through your family. And where my brothers come from. That you come to Jesus through your family. come to Jesus through your in Jesus name and God you cause you to be a disciple maker in this church and where you are married God will raise in you God will raise in you and whatever God you raise it will be latter the glory of the latter temple in the new life Jesus ministries. Pastor, there are people when you come on Saturday in Saturday service, you find they have come one hour, two hours before you, not because you planned for them, but because the gifting is pushing them. They are right Who are intercessors? intercessors. intercessors. Those that group that prays and fast for the church. Go and pray. Tomorrow I will dedicate intercessors. Go and tell God I want to stand on the gap on behalf of the pastor, on behalf of the church. I want, the Bible says, when Bible, Bible talks about intercessors, the Bible says, they never allow God to rest. They never allow God Jerusalem, Jerusalem, his praise on earth. Tomorrow, by God's grace, we will anoint intercessors. And you are going to receive fire. Something that we are not allow God to be silent. God will be forced to speak and speak. Because there are good people always knocking at heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you will never be settled until the glory of the land of the temple that God will show you is done in this church and in the families of this church. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You know when I was coming I had a small bottle with anointing oil. I did not use this. We had a women conference, women leaders conference. And pastors, wives conference. But I told my wife, no, can you put this, this small bottle in your bag? God, I don't know why, but I sense it's meant for anointing some people somewhere and uh -huh. I know tomorrow we will anoint intercessors. Uh -huh. I just need you, I just need you to commit yourself to Jesus Christ that he may use you and there will be fire in you. Fire in you. You find yourself fasting for 21 days not because it has been planned but the Holy Ghost is commanding you. You can't resist Uh, 
ukanga usenga imisi 21 kandi ukayisenga na wayigutegetse ahubwo umwuka wera uri muri wowe agusunikira gusenga iyo misi kandi ni umuriro w'Imana uzaka muri wowe God you be waking you at night Imani kakubyutsa mwijoro for the pastor. pastor God you be showing you Imani kakwereka areas that you need to cover in the blood of Jesus and the temple will be covered will be glorious there will be so many weddings because they are intercessors families will be powerful because they are intercessors marriages will be powerful because they are intercessors there will be no premature death People you live long life because they are intercessors. We need intercessors. Go and pray about it. Tomorrow come with a decision. And now we pray for you. And we organize you. If God kills me, I'll be coming here every year to check on you to see whether the fire is still there. Because we need a, in, in our assembly, we have 300. And we have about, about 40 to 50 people every week praying and fasting. On Saturday you come to the church, they are live at 4, 4 a.m. It's not that I plan for them, but the calling causes them to do that. Usanga sa kumiza mujito no wari kurusengero ataru kobo babi tegui aho gumuhama garu basuni chira gukori chachin. You can imagine now this man is anointed. This one is anointed. 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 Nobody will be pushed aloud. The calling will push you. Nobody will be coerced to do something. You will be pushed from inside. In the latter temple. God bless you. Get seated. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you want to serve God powerfully? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord bless so much. Now. You know, you the God Imana doesn't want you just to be a good sister in the church, a good brother in the church, or just a good brother singing and doing. Na gima ni shaka ngobe mushiki mniza changu mufandi mniza muri sengero uri imbe changu kodi chenu bi. The Lord want to put in you. Aho gima ni shaka shira muri wawe. What we call? Ichobita. His calling. Umuhamagaro. What is a call? Umuhamagaro ni chie. A call. Umuhamagaro. Is this manner? Is this way? No Let me start. Whenever you sit near to bishop, you always do some exercises. Are you able to jump? Let me see. Jump a little bit. Yes. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He, she's fit for my puppet exercises. Now, praise the Lord. You can be saved. A good sister. A good person. But whenever God wants to use you, He will do one thing. He must set you apart. If God is there, just start there. If God is there, and you are here worshiping, and you are among other people, God will remove you from ordinary, and you will be on his side. God will use you to represent him among people. Not a sister among people. Not a woman among other women. Not just a, a married woman among other women. But you will represent God among them. That's a judge. And from today, every one of you will be different. I release this anointing. Most of you, when you're in a marketplace, you are just a businesswoman, a businessman like others. 
Uru mchuru zumu damu ngaba andi vos. Where you are married, where you are married. Aho ushachiwe. You are a woman like others. Uru mudamu ngaba. Where you work. Aho kora. In that company. Muri yo company. You are just a work like others. Uru muko zingaba andi. But right now as I speak. Ari kono na handi kufu. Heaven is open. Ijura fungu. God knows this meeting. Imani ziritera. And by the grace of God. Kani kuku unugima. One day God. One thing God is allocating ages. Uyu musima na yohe. To make a start this church. Kujira ngo. Ijire kukora hogu. Can you hear this? Ese mga kumviki. Just there. There's a verse in the Bible that says. Let me. Let me. Let me. Release a prophecy. From this word. In, in the book of Matthew. Mujitabu cha matayo. Oh. Chapter 4. Yuche vine. The Bible says, just stay there, my sister. I'm coming back. I'm coming back to take you back. <laughs> now, mm -hmm. I hope you are there. Uh -huh. Matthew chapter 4. Wonderful. Verse 11. Let's see, it is verse 10 to 11 says, Then Jesus said to the devil, Get behind me. Get behind me, Satan. Satan. For it is written, You shall worship the Lord thy God and him only shall you serve. Did you get that, friends? Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Get behind me, Satan. And the next verse says, I like to read it in New King James Version. Let me get that. New King James Version. Yes, thank you. Or her. Uh, thank you. The Lord is powerful. The Bible says something now. Let me get it. Uh, uh, wonderful. Yes. Where is that? It's okay. And the Bible says, and Satan departed. Angels ministered to Jesus Christ. I want to say to you there is, I want to declare this glory. This church is in that particular verse. We've read Matthew chapter 4 verse. 10 and 11. <laughs> this, I hear a statement for the mouth of God. God saying, Get behind this church. Get Satan. Get behind this church. Satan ni jenda vakuri toro changwe jinyu mairi toriro. If you go up, there says, and Satan added all temptations. He tried Jesus with the stones. Changed stones into blood. Jesus overcame. He tried Jesus with the pride. Showed Jesus all the glories. Said Christ, bow to him, bow to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. That's the last of the eye. The devil came back and said, No, Jesus. Cause yourself to fall down. It's just you take charge of you. Christ overcame. Yes, that is now pride. The three things that the devil uses. Last of the eye. Last of the flesh. And pride. And pride. Christ overcame all. Yes, Anesha Jos. God is saying to me, He has tried, devil has tried this church in those three levels. 
Satan The devil has tried tested your pastor in the three levels. Satan agerageza pastor wanyu mu nzege shatu. And this church is getting to a new level. Kandi litori kugera ku rundi rwego rushya. You have overcome Satan in the level of pride. Mwaneshije Satan ku rwego rwo kubone. You have overcome Satan in the level of the last of the eyes. Mwaneshije Satan ku rwego rw'irari ry'amaso. You have overcome Satan. Mwaneshije Satan. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the level of last of the flesh. And now you are graduating. No, no, the glory of the temple. You are with Jesus. Having accomplished the three tests. The devil has tried. First one. Satan Second one. Third one. And you are through. And now. Don't wait for the devil again. There is a command telling the devil. Get behind me, Satan. Satan. Get behind this church. And the Bible says, and Satan. Added his mission. In the name of Jesus. The mission devil had for this church is over. That says the Holy Spirit. And whenever you go out from today. You notice there's no struggle. There is a clear way. There is a clear way. Can I tell you what happens? What is that? Satan. Satan is commanded. You are through now. Get behind us. And the Bible says. Satan obeyed the command. Satan Right now, I speak here. The devil has obeyed that command. And angels came, Baraza took over, and from that moment, instead of experiencing Satan, Jesus had angels ministering with him. Jesus had angels who ministered to him and he ministered with them. Pastor, I want to tell the truth. That's one of the unique experiences you have. Plenty of angels ministering with you for you. Receive those angels now. Receive those angels. Receive those angels now. There is a chapter that is gone. Satan has added the test. I know some of you have been more, so much tested. In your marriage you have overcome. In your body you have overcome. In your work you have overcome. And I confirm. From the Holy Ghost. Is that now? And the devil has, has departed. departed. And Satan Some of you who could not bear children. Prepare for pregnancy now. Some of you who are in shame prepare to see the glory. Some of you who are behind so much behind prepare to be the head. Some of you who are beneath prepare to be over. This is the word for the mother of God. It's not my word. Receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ages you minister to you. I was going to take you back. In Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Amen. You see, friends, when you are set apart, I was using as an example, set apart. You are no longer ordinary. 
And God takes you and he does two things. One, he appoints you. Secondly, he sanctifies you. And the third thing, he gives you a title and authority. Did you get the three? One, appoints you. Number two, Ichakabiri. cleanses you in a very deep way. Ikakweza mwujo mgibite. Hallelujah. Amen. And the third thing, Ichakatatu. he gives you a title, Ikaguhizina. a possession, Ikaguhumanya. an authority. Nubutkware. Receive those now. Ngachiri mjongibu. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And by the grace of God, Kani hange nubunugimana, in this cause calling, the second thing God you do is to commission you. My God is great. You see, when God called his people, that's how God used to work. When God called Paul, if you go now to the book of Jeremiah, let's Jeremiah, when God called Jeremiah, the Bible says, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 4, the word of the Lord came unto me. The word. Not opinion. Not opinion. Not suggestion. Not an imagination. A clear word. Whenever God calls you, there is a clear word of your calling. There is a clear, clear directive of your calling. Jeremiah says, the word of the Lord came to me saying, before I formed you, now we are Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. Before I formed you, uh, Jeremiah Yere chapter 1, verse 5. Jeremiah Jeche Chamber Monogatano. Tano, Tano, eh, 5. Eh, tano, Tano is 5 in Kiswahiri. Tano, Tano is 5 here. Yeah. Yes. Gatano, ni, ni gata. Gatano, Gatano, yeah. eh, that's powerful. Yeah. Gatano. <laughs> Hiya, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5. Jeremiah Jeche Chamber Monogatano. Before I formed you in the, in the belly, in your mother's womb. I knew you before you came out of the womb I sanctified you and I ordained you to be a prophet of a nation hallelujah amen hallelujah amen hallelujah amen one let me do something before before you know, God always talk about before. Don't, don't worry about these other people. They are seeing you now. We But God says, before anyone saw you, before even your mother got married, even before your parents were born, before the world existed, God says, I knew you. The word new means I planned. I had your plan. I had your architectural approved plan. I had a plan that your life should follow. You know when I know you are in a city whenever you want to put up a building you draw a plan of everything that will be done. And then you take it to the physical department of physical development, whatever in the in the city, and they do they, they say they approve the plan. Saying, whatever you do in that building, it's what you have put on the paper. The size of the of the, the, the metals, the kind of beams, the kind of columns, the kind of roof is on the paper. 
bakakubwira ngo ibyo muzakoresha inkutu zubaka igisenge uzashyiraho byose ukaba ushize ku God is saying Imani iravuga before mbere I knew you before nakumenye mbere in other words muyani magambo I had your plan nari ifite umugambi kwawe drone ushushanyije and it was approved by me kandi wemejwe nanjye so when you start living you have to live ugomba kubaho according to what kubigendanye I, I approved nibyo nemeje when i knew you before ije menya kumenya imbere hallelujah amen we are telling the devil turi kugira satani and the world nisi we were known before kwamenwe mbere somebody determined our life before haruwomenye ubuzima bwacu mbere yuko tubaho god gave us names before imani duhizi na mbere god gave us money before imani duha amafaranga mbere god gave us life before imani duha ubuzima mbere i now want to become rero ndashaka kuba god knew about me yari nzihongeye before i was formed mbere yuko ndemwa i want to become ndashaka kuba what was in the might of god before i was formed mbere yuko ndemwa before i formed you before i started the construction i knew you i knew the pillars i knew the beams i knew the seasons i knew you from today you are becoming what god knew before Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I cancel every failure. I destroy the works of darkness. I destroy every poverty. I destroy every sickness. I remove you from all curses. I remove you now. For you are known. You know I I know this today in our church. She used to give birth to children after every birth and the child would just die. Harumununzi bigiye babyaraga igiye babyaraga umwana wese babye yari tapfa. It happened five times. Bibi shure zigira muri eshanu. And she said no bishop no something I'm going to spend 28 days. Arambwa ngo bishop uzi kintu ngiye kumara imisi 28 senga niyiriza. To know what Jira God menye or to receive what god knew cyangwa nakiricyo umwami imana for i don't think kuko sinekereza the way my children are dying yuko abana banje uko bapfa that was not the might of god yuko ibyo bijya biri mu bitekezo by'imana one time igihe kimwe she met with her cousin ahura namubyara in the city center mu mugwa and that woman the cousin wo mugore mubyara wiwe i don't know what happened it's as if she was in ecstasy she was in high she was, she was not herself rero bahura tameze nkari gutekereza nkari we wenyine you know the cousin was possessed by a spirit bisa ngaho umubyara we ramaze ngaho yafashwe na nimuka without consciousness i don't know which consciousness she said oh we know do you know how we have been killing your children you know the demon in her cousin spoke we've been killing your children we've killed four and they have just met on the lord hanyuma muri uwo mwanya huye namubyara we mu nzira imyuka itangiye imyuka mitanye kumuvugira mu ngwa ngo nitwe twicaga abana bawe ngo tumaze kwica abana bane I said oh yes we've killed four Arwangwe, we've been killing nitwe twishe bane twarabishe and my sister hanyuma mushiki wanje discovered aratwikirwe amenya ko my cousin is a witch yuko mubyara we ari umurozi akora ibyo byo busatane children somebody a demon as a Nick eh, power has been working on that. Kana menye yuko abana bimamvu bapfaga hari aba diamond bari gukora mu muntu kugira ngo bigende gutyo. She prayed for 21 28 days. Asengiyo misi 28. But you know that lady was not yet healed. Ariko umugore yarataracira. Ko ikoko yagiye abagwe inshuro nyinshi. And and it was she could only take drinks. Icyo yakukoraga gusa yaranywaga gusa. Her husband found her at the entrance at the gate fallen fainting. But she said now my husband I will not stop. I must pray until what God knew is released. 
umugabo we rimwe musanga yaguye mu muryango yaguye igihumure ariko aramubyusa namubwira ngo mugabo wanje sindi buhagarike gusenga kugeza igihe menye ikimana ishaka gukora ku Do you know when you pray and fast sincerely uziyo senga ukiyiriza byukuri there are several things that happen hari bintu biba one icyambere you put down ukwita hasi every stronghold buri bihome byose biremere devil has created or has formed all the years the world has been there you know whenever you are born you are born in a family that has existed you are born in in a city like Kigali that has existed before you you are married in a family that has existed most of the families most of the cities most of these places they, they have existed and Satan has been there Satan now where are forming strongholds are mi bihome birebire bikomeye hello praise god man shimye and when you are born and you are married or whatever and you try to exist you realize there are forces that are so strong in every place that need to be destroyed if you are to succeed kan ije cyo suvutse ugashaka ukubaka ugashaka gutera imbere usanga mu buryo bwose cyamunze yose ushaka gucamo hari bihome birebere bikubuza kugira ngo ugere kunsinzi ya a stronghold is a center of power ibyo bihome birebere nizingiro zimbaraga is is the is the center of a government na na nizingiro zubutware is a center of a it can be a center of a caste a center that forms a pattern that rules in a bad way nizingiro rirema imbaraga rikarema no muvumo kandi wuruhererekane like now in uh, in Rwanda nga mu Rwanda Kigali is a stronghold of uh, the country nga Kigali nico gihomekire kire cyu gihugu cyu Rwanda state house rero ibiro bikuru by'umuyobozi w'igihugu ndetse no na governor when it talk about stronghold it, it's something that has formed is like not Kigali this building they have, take, they have taken time to build the way the, the, the way the government put up structures in this city they put structures that are strong to show the world that Kigali is the capital city of Rwanda stronghold so in every place just as you see now in K in Rwanda you have Kigali in Nairobi you have Nairobi in Kenya you have Nairobi in New in US you have Washington in every place in the spiritual realm live no physical spiritual realm they also form what we call stronghold nkuko muri mu Rwanda dufite Kigali muri Kenya bakagira Nairobi muri America bakagira Washington DC ahantu hose habicyo bita muri iyo miji kubakwa inyingi zikomeye so when you are born really you fought you fight a pre existing thing usanga hari ikintu cyari cyateguye imbere you found Nairobi there ugasanga Nairobi you found your mother there ugasa you found your family there ugasanga umuryango wara hari it existed ugasanga biriho you are born in a village you do not determine you have to be born you are born maybe in sufferings you could not choose you just found, found yourself there if you continue existing the way you found you become a slave of the plans that you found but tonight we want to remove this church every family from what you found from what you found to what God knew in Jesus name even your family people never get married we are canceling that even your family people never get we are even your family you always lose fast bonds we are even your family there have been a witch 
who operated all through we are destroying them for the Lord is in charge God is not begging God is not begging a plan God is not asking anybody for your plan I say God is not asking anybody for your plan God says I knew you before I formed you I am responsible. I own your soul. I am in charge. I knew you before I formed you. I want to bring what I knew. The Lord has spoken to me. Some people here are living in defeat. If today I ask you, where do you live? You live in where you were born. Who said that this is your home? You see, you are born in a, in a home. That's, that's not your home. It's your father's residence. If today you are born in a slum, no, you have nothing to do with the slum. It is your dad, your mother, who lives there. But we are hungry. And you have. You stayed there for 10 years in, in somebody's place. Hello? Hello? You were born somewhere in Kenya. Down here in the river. A small village in a small land. Na, 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 na. That's not your place. It's where you have found yourself in. It's where the mother who raised you, that's where she put you. And you are taken to a bad school. A very low, low school. Just because your mother could not manage to pay School fish. That, that is not you. It is the level of your mother. And your mother is the product of what you found. Today, we want to bring God's product. We are changing you now. From that house down here, you will be a neighbor to Ministers and members of parliament for God claims I knew you before I formed you. I made a plan of your life. Finances. Gift, gifting. Money. Houses. Ministry. I knew it. Before I formed you, the only thing your mother did is to carry you in the wood. But it's God who put you there. And He knew you before. My God, what you knew about me should start working now. It is the glory of the latter temple. The the glory of this church is not the way you are. It is what God knew before you are formed. The plan I now release it. I now release it from the throne of God. I release the plan that God knew. Some of you tonight, when you go to that house, you start saying, no, we, you know one time I woke up and said to my wife, my mama, within the next two months, we are going to live in our own house that God has in mind. Do something. 
Something came into my heart. The house required millions. I did not have money. But I had the plan of God. I did not. She knew my account didn't have money. But brother, can you say something? That day I got a house of 12 million Kenya shillings, which is a, a, about what? Here in, in Rwanda. 120 million Rwanda, whatever, where my account had only maybe 10,000. Uh, you can imagine, I was almost to go to the advocate and negotiate. I couldn't understand myself because the plan is so powerful that I cannot allow myself to be otherwise. So, you know, it, it happened, I remember. I remember it, it happened after two months. I remember when I called the person who was selling the house. He said, I said, now, I want to come and bring my wife to see the house. He said, no, no, no. Don't, don't bring her to see the house. Move. Into the new house. You know what happened? She was she was at work. I requested my brother to give me his lorries, companies, transport vehicles. And I, I removed everything except bedroom. I, our bedroom item because now I can't handle that. I knew bedroom would be complicated to me. I called her son. You know something? Tonight you are sleeping in the new house. It was a shock to her. She complained a little bit. I said to her, now we have nothing to argue. You've been praying about it. God spoke about it. You have to move now. But that time, I had people cleaning the, the new resident, the, the compound, everything, and people... She found a lorry waiting at the, at the, at the gate. To remove our bed because we have to sleep in the new house. Everything. And actually, by 11 p.m., we were in the new house. Satan. 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 You know, that house is not the issue of money. Is the issue of what I discovered in, in God. God. What I discovered in God. Do you know how God works? You, you discover, discover what God knew about you. And the sources follow. Money will honor the plan. People will be commanded to align to the plan. All of you tonight. I release on your mind the kind of house that God knew. The kind of vehicle you should drive. The kind of marriage that God knew. The kind of marriage that God knew. I say that that fire come on you now. That fire, fire come on you now. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right now when you go at home, my God, the God I serve by his spirit will disturb you by his plan. And God will tell you, this is not the kind of bed that I knew. This is not the kind of sitting room that I knew. You go to your toilet washroom. Said, no, this is not the kind of washroom that I knew. <sighs> Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor, you give you a chance to preach here. And you realize, this is not the kind of preaching that God knew. You go back to prayer. You take this mic to praise. And you realize, oh, this is not the kind of singing that God knew. Ooh, the, the glory of the latter temple. 
Unyuja mu chumba uvuga ngo iki gitanda sicyo umwami imana azimbere nujya muri sorwe ngo izinebe zo muri saro sizo umwami imana azimbere nujya mu bwiherero cyangwa aho wogera uvuga ngo aha si umwami imana azimbere kuko aho uzajya hose ndetse nuza nanuririmba uvuga ngo iki sicyo umwami imana yamenye ho mbere rero sicyo yateguye mu yandi magambo rero nugaruka uze ugendeye ku mugambo w'Imana yateguye Jesus yes before we read this prayer, you hear testimonies. God, you put in your mind the kind of house you should live in and, and there will be fire in you to own that house. And God, you put you in the plan that he drew about you. You step in it, step in it, and you find yourself in it. So can it is your Muruva, Umani Gukurida, Muka Imana Kujana, Mugambu, which Imana Teguye, can you Ukuri Kujanu Chejira, Ukanda Jira, Ukanda Jira, Uchi Sangemo, and members of this church will be different. In your family, you'll be different. In your business, you'll be different. And the place of work, you'll be different. Our children in school will be different. I come back. What God knew about your son about your daughter the performance in school that excellence that God knew be released be released be released in Jesus name hallelujah and finally we want to finish because of time God says and before God comes before what you see around it's not your portion. God came before. Said, and before you came out, I gave you a title. Before you came out, I read the name of the plan. For Jeremiah, God says, before you came out. God did not want Jeremiah to be just an ordinary brother in their village. Before you came out, I did two things. I appointed you. I ordained you. So that when you come out, you will not be a slave. You will not be a beggar. You will not waste you will not waste opportunity. You will not waste your strength. I appointed you. I ordained you to be a prophet of a nation. And God said to Jeremiah, from today, don't waste time. Jeremiah said, God, don't you know you know, you know what happens when God spoke that he found Jeremiah already existing in a village known as Anathoth in the tribe of Benjamin Jeremiah had the condition not from God but from the village not from God but from their town not from God but from his age he said, God let me tell something God I want to introduce myself to you God I have already existed this who I am I am just a youth. He did not say I'm a youth. He said, I'm just a youth. In other words, the society and the age classify me at this time to be just a youth. Among the village elders, I never speak in my mother's house I don't talk because I'm just a youth according to the systems of Rwanda I cannot be a manager I'm a youth 
according to the systems of our family I should not talk my work is to serve those who talk God says I don't need what the world says about you Jeremiah don't say you are a youth because you can only be what I'm saying God said from today you are a prophet of nations. You are not a village boy. You are not a youth. Imana mubwira ngo sinshaka kuba icyo abantu bakubonamo ahubwo nashakumbe ico ngewe nkubonamo kuko Yeremia na guru urubyiruko gusa na nubwo urukorera bavuga ahubwo wowe urumuhanuzo hanurira mahanga. Jeremiah. Yeremia. Stop talking. Hagarika kuvuga. Remove that title. Uve muri we matwa. Remove it. Uve I don't want that status. I don't want to hear what men say about you. I don't want to hear about the social status that the world has allocated to you. This is my new position. What I knew. What I knew about you. And what appointed you to become. You are a mighty prophet. Over all men. In every nation. That's who you are. Hallelujah. Amen. And God said. And you will go. To whoever I said you. And you whatever I command you to say and, and God touched his mouth and he said now Jeremiah I have put my words into your mouth you can only say what I have said you can only think in my ways and God also touched his eyes I said Jeremiah what can you see instead of seeing the neighborhood he saw God's vision instead of seeing the pains the limitations the bad bad things God put his vision into his eyes. Imani shiriere kwa jayo kumaso ye. From today, uhere umusi. My God, imana ya anjo. Touch the eyes. Ikwere kumaso ye. 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 My God, imana ya anjo. Put your heart into their mouth. Ishiri jamuri jayo mungu kwa mkani. Oh my God, the glory of the latter temple. Chitoro janyo. It has a condition. Kifita mahamu. God, you cause you to see. And you ask you like Jeremiah. Jeremiah, what can you see? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said, I can't, I'm not seeing what I'm used to be seeing. I see something coming from north. And God said, you have seen the true thing. Because from today, whatever I will tell you, I will hasten to perform it. In other words, you will live a life of performance. You will live a life of performance. Let's rise up for prayer. Let's rise up for prayer. Rike posota raba. Sheketere rema. Repose katapa kashaka raba busa. Oh, mega mosada. Amakasa tiri masaya. The Lord is putting His words in your mouth. The Lord is putting His words in your mouth. Look at me. Mundebe. Most of you have been forced. To say things that don't come from God. God will touch you now. Let's wait a little bit, my brother. Father, in the name of Jesus. My sister, you have been here, my brother, you have been here. There, there is a door you have been knocking at. For many years. My brother. 
mwene data my sister mshitwani my mother mama wanje my father data my great god parent mujeye mko young brother young sister here knocking at this door ndashaka gusengera umuntu uvuga byukuri ngo nako manze kuri uyu muryango ni wafunguka kugeza igihe numva ko nambiwe ndambiwe raise your head ekuzamura ikiganza cyawe ku mana you are so much clear about it ura ura idiri icyo kintu uragishaka cyane i like you to step in this altar right here ndabasaba kugira ngo umutene inambe muze hano if you are serious come here niba mukomeje right here here ahanga this is the glory of the other temple when you start look at me just occupy this place and look at me mundebe muhagarare mundeba jesus christ yesu christ is risen from the dead yazutse kuva mu bapfuye jesus christ yesu christ is risen from the dead yazutse kuva mu bapfuye jesus christ yesu christ is risen from the dead yazutse kuva mu bapfuye he is seated at the right hand of he god the father jesus christ yesu christ is jesus christ yesu christ is risen from the dead yazutse kuva mu bapfuye I would like you to know that miracle is already released icyo gitangaza ko kirekuwe I'm saying in heaven in the air and on earth nabangu mu kirere mwijuru mu even the demons that were rising against you already they are destroyed ndetse naba daimon bahagurukira kukurwanya baranje gusenyuka those strongholds ibyo bihome birebire that you found wasanze we are not ru again nago bizongera kukubuza amahoro some of you you've lived the way you you brought up bamwe mubayo mu buryo you will not live the way you are brought up nago mubayo mu buryo mwa you will not live the way you found things nago muzonya kuwa ho muko mwasanze what existed the might of god ikiriho mu mitekereze y'Imana is coming on your life kije kubuzima bwana raise your hands to heaven now uzamuri biganza byanyu hejuru shararaba kataraba zakata baba just worship the Lord God thank you worship the Lord Tell God thank you you love me so much Lord I making way for you Shararama zindereba shekerereba babo shina mina ya rikaposa just the god i see this way for me lord shandana baba sherere mazikararaba sheri makusa itakia raba shanda baba basanda makasa tapakosa Shende makasa karababo shekerereba oh ria makasando in the name of jesus in the name of jesus receive your miracle now receive it my sister riba baba riba basanda raba baba i command that take command that take command that take riba basanda kota mine basanda raba bosa Ria brado suba ki kamba kanto brado Let your hands to heaven now Samri biganza byawe mu kirere Let not to listen Bonyove My brother wait a little bit Let's go to Father in the name of Jesus Data mu izina rya Yesu I give you all the glory Ndaguha icyubahiro cyose For now kuko nona ha from this minute uhere uyu munota by the command of heaven kubwite giko ryijuru the door is open imiryango ifunguwe the door is open imiryango ifunguwe the door is open imiryango ifunguwe and now in the name of jesus none mwizina rya yesu every stronghold buri bihome byose birebire of men jaba of circumstances that sebyimbi kwa misever jumwanzi in jesus name mwizina rya yesu 
them down. I destroy all the strong order. I destroy it now. In Jesus' name. A lot from today. I give you praise. Because I know even before this conference comes to an end. These people from this night have testimonies. Receive the open door. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it now. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Hallelujah. You know the lady I talked about who prayed for 28 days before finishing? He saw so heaven open and a mighty, a mighty hand holding two babies. And this is what God said. My daughter, these are the children I've always kept for you. And she later gave birth to those two children. And I had a wonderful wedding of one of them two months ago. Jesus Christ. From today, don't struggle. Before we leave this place, maybe on Monday or Tuesday, I know, Pastor, you hear testimonies here. In Jesus' name. Father, we start in this altar with a clear witness from your spirit that the doors we have knocked and knocked all the years. Are now open. And no man, no demon can shut them. And we receive the clearance. We receive the assurance. We receive breakthrough. We receive the anointing. We receive a new move. Of the open doors. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Tomorrow we have moments to pray for the sick. Because one of the blessings in this church is long life. The glory of the latter temple in New Life Church is that God will bless you with long life. And every season, every season God has appointed for you who must be accomplished and fulfilled. And therefore, tomorrow, bring the sick. Come with your disease. You will not die. Because God is terminating curses. Destroying programs of premature death. For the glory of the latter temple. Is the glory of long life. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. We also pray for your hands. The glory of the latter temple is the glory of blessed hands. Hands that are so blessed with healing power and capacity for prosperity. In Jesus name you are covered. Amen. Amen. Now because of time we will stop there. But Jesus has gone ahead of us for tomorrow meeting. And tomorrow, just call people from all, tell them, come, Lord is healing. Let this, this house be full of people, even your neighbors, in Jesus' name. Have a good night. Receive your open door. God bless you. Oh, Pastor, we will stop there now. Pastor, but we have, have opened doors. What God had in mind for us is now working. Amen.